Michael, go ahead and, and, and lead us off your pick at Burnley. And I, I want to, before I get into all the other 19 picks here, these are, I think, best case scenario. A lot of these you're probably not going to be able to do. Some of them you will. This one I think is in the, there's no chance you're going to be able to get him. But if you did, I actually think this would maybe save Burnley season. Ethan Ampadu from Leeds. Uh, mm -hmm. guy who can play center back, obviously can transition into the midfield a little bit as well. Um, gives you some, sol uh, like solidity in the back. You've given up 41 goals this season. Um, that's obviously not very good. <clears throat> You've only scored yeah. 20. Um, I don't think a lot of the time, I mean, you could really, the problem with these teams too, is like, you could go for anybody because like they're so not performing well at all. Like the people aren't scoring, they're giving up goals, whatever. I think they need some defensive uh, stability and some ability to transition between plays. And I think Impadu is really good, really good at that. The problem is he plays for Leeds. They're definitely coming up next year for the, you know, more than yeah. likely. Um, so, you know, why would he do that? And why would Leeds do that? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, I got a Leeds guy on here as well that I'll pre-reference. -pre like, these are... We, I try to be as realistic as possible, honestly, but some of them are probably still going to be a little bit out there uh, and, and not be able to get done. Um, but to your point, company said this himself. He goes, look at our relegation rivals. At the beginning, it was Bournemouth, and then it was Fulham. They got Solanke, and they got Raul Jimenez, and those are two players that no one on my team is as good as. And I think that's true. Like With Sheffield, with Burnley, and with Luton, you are trying to get as many Premier League level players on the field as possible because, in all honesty, the, the chasm between them and every other team that stayed up, this is the first year I think we've seen that it's humongous. Like, it was big. So, my pick, Emil Smith-Rowe. Free my man. Um, if your company, it, it's looking pretty bleak. I get that. But every report out of Burnley says they got a plan. They're going to stay young. They want to, you know, keep the core together, have them grow. I think this is a loan deal. I don't think you're able to keep ESR at all, but he needs to play. They got to let him out of Arsenal. He's only played 12 games in all comps this year. I think it's a win, 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 win. You're going to have him play in a system that can somewhat transfer over to Arteta's system too if next year they actually want to give him a run to play mm -hmm. um company learned from pep arteta learned from pep it's kind of the same coaching tree i, I just want to see this guy play i like i i can't imagine he's that bad that he can't play or that arsenal has have gotten that much better that he can't play i just want this guy to get out there and, and get some time so a loan deal to burnley do i think it's going to save them no but i think it's going to be a great place for him to showcase and then get picked up next season um, yeah, I totally agree with you because I think, again, I don't want to go back on this, but you're giving Havertz a chance, Trossard, all these guys, and it hasn't worked out. Why, why not give him a shot? And the fact that they're not really giving him a run of games, I, I think is crazy, but I do agree. Yeah. I think he's a really good player. All right. Luton Town. 